Another game, though? Or do you tire of losing? You're playing too conservatively, though. You must be bold when playing the game of Yi. Did I teach you nothing? You taught me much, Xi'an, but the most valuable lessons were learning where you were wrong. 17th square of the lion, if you please. A wise move, but you know you cannot win. You stall this game the way you hesitated to learn the harmonic combinations. You must be bold, though. You are being rude, Gian. We have a guest. Let us place the game on hold a moment. I was doing my best to ignore you, too. Very well. What do you want from Jean, the Iron Fist, or Mistress Vo? If you are here for training, I refuse. Uh... I was walking by. I was literally just walking by. I... Why does everyone think I want something fine? Look, um... What you doing? We're having our game of ye interrupted. Playing without a board or pieces is hard enough without some stranger interrupting. Surely you know of Yi, the capturing game? Played on a board of 19 rows and columns, the black and white pieces capture territory for their player. We have simply decided to do away with the board. If one is properly focused, it's not so hard to keep the game in one's mind. You're talking about Go, aren't you? Love that game. It's a good game. In fact, I'd say it's probably my favorite board game ever. Ah, uh, what kind of training can you two offer? Since we're asking... None. Too many people seek our guidance. Do not be so hasty, Jian. You did not turn me aside all those years ago. Not at all. And look where that got us. Your foolish devotion to the way of the open palm drove you from my tutelage and made you weak. No more. End of subject. Um. Well, I have some questions about Tian's landing. You should ask them of someone who cares. Forgive him. Had my former master bothered to remember his manners, he might have told you that we are not from Tian's Landing. We know little of the events here. The Empire posts a minister to look after this place. Shang is his name, I think. Test to him if you must know about this place. Uh, okay, I'll leave you to your game. Jian the Iron Fist isn't honestly going to let this one walk away, is he? If you don't say anything, then I will, you old goat. As much as it pains me, Vo is right. I see potential in you. Greater strength than the dozens of worms who compete for my favor. I too see strength, but also the capacity for understanding the world and your place in it. You could prove an interesting pupil. A, 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 pu a pu Is that like a, a little worm? Like a little gross worm? I, um, does this mean you'll train me? I will make you an offer. Show me that you understand every nuance of the way of the closed fist, and I will teach you how to bend the storms to your will through tempest. <laughs> so I failed that one. What's next? He would like nothing more than to have you as a student. But show me that you walk the way of the open palm, and I will teach you the mysteries of Stone Immortal. Stone Immortal? You will be here for some time if you wish either of our tutelage, but do not ask us to guide you on your path. Learn the ways on your own is the most important lesson. I would like to be a stone, please. Always a pleasure to talk to another warrior. My game of Yi with Jian can wait a moment. What can I do for you? Want to be stone. Must be stone, please. Uh, in fact, didn't we just speak to someone at the tea house? They told us to be like the stone. Indeed, I seek your training, Mistress Vo. You have some understanding of the way of the open palm, but Stone Immortal is not easily taught. Return to me when you feel you understand the way of the open palm. Then you will be ready. Okay, fine. Tell me about yourself. You know my name. That's really all that's important, isn't it? Not many know of my exploits outside of the prosperous East. What's the story between you and Jean? I was once his student, until I decided I couldn't agree with all of his teachings. He was an excellent master, but 
I couldn't follow his philosophies. Twenty years have passed since we parted ways, and while we disagree on principle, I can't help but feel some affection for the old man. There's more life still left in these old bones than you've ever had. This is why we only meet once a year to play Yi. Jian the Iron Fist is best taken in small doses. You spend most of your time in the prosperous east? A wonderful province, and yes, one that I call home. You should visit sometime and see the wonders of Phoenix Gate. Of course, the Imperial City still stands as the greatest city, but Phoenix Gate has its own charms. Standing on the Sea of Glass, it is a hub of trade. Each year, Jian and I make our way here to the Seat of Heaven province to meet for a few days of Yi. It's something of a ritual. Alright, um... I think that's it. It was nice to talk for a while. It was. Uh, explain to me the principles of the Stone Immortal style. Stone Immortal allows you to control the Earth itself. It is not easy to master. To understand the Earth, you must be aware of all things around you and understand that they are all connected in one way or another. That is why Stone Immortal is only taught to those who follow the way of the open palm. Our sense of harmony aids us in persuading the Earth to serve as our ally. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Well, have fun. When you feel that you sufficiently understand the way of the open palm, return to me. Yes, I will. I will return to you. Someday. Hello? Okay, hi. Hello? Ing better figure out a way to get us out of here soon, uh, yeah. or I'm going to snap. <gasps> oh, don't snap. Look at all these people here. When my old father told me to come to the big city, he never warned me about the crowds. I... Really? You, you think Tian's Landing's a, a, a big city? Back on the farm, I ain't never seen so many people and buildings in one place. Except for livestock. But I guess they ain't people. Or buildings. Ah, uh huh. So, who are ya? My name's Tian. But everyone calls me Big Tian because I'm so big. I came to the city to try to find me a wife. So far, it's not going so good. You don't say. You wouldn't happen to know any pretty young gals, would you? Someone who'd want to come live on the farm with me? Uh, I'm sorry, I don't happen to know any at this time. Well, that's a real shame. If you run across any nice gals, do me a favor and mention my name to them. Big Tian. You have a nice day now. Okay. Bye bye there, Big Tian. Good luck. It ain't easy being a dock worker. We don't get paid much, but we sure earn it. Uh huh. Uh huh. That's exactly what I wanted to do. We ought to form a guild. Yep. If everyone else has them. Why not yep. us? It's uh, it's exactly not trying to read this book at all. The Cataclysm. Many tales circulate of the travels of the water people, but one of the most disturbing tales comes from the far to the west, beyond the ocean of Tempest. Rumors persist of an area in the middle of the western ocean that is inhospitable to life. The farther one travels across the ocean of Tempest, the warmer the climate becomes. Many have postulated that this may be because you approach the resting place of the sun. But there must be another explanation, not shrouded in myths and superstition. Of particular note are reports of an enormous cloud that rises miles into the air, visible to those few brave enough to travel to the travel the increasingly rough seas of Tempest. At night, the cloud glows with heat, and its acrid smell carries on the wind. Those who approach too closely fall ill. The few ghost ships found in the area were filled with des uh, what desiccated corpses, their skin rotting and their hair and teeth falling out from their bodies. 
A one particular disturb particularly disturbing log penned in the shaking hand of a dying captain of one of those lost crafts suggests that the skies were filled with a roar like the cries of the gods, and it finishes the unfortunate man's wish with the unfortunate man's wish that the death take him before the howling demons descend upon him. Well, that's nice. That sounds like a fun vacation destination. Oh look, it's a dry dock boat. Because the river is so small now. It's so small, river. The fisherman's life is a hard one. Don't let anyone tell you different. I won't, sir. One day I was going to. I was gonna, but I won't now. Because you done straightened me out. <laughs> so grateful. I will forever, forever be grateful to that man. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's important. You see, one day, someone will be like, The life of a fisherman is not a hard one. And I'll be like, Sir, no, sir, it is a hard one. Because I know better. And I will save the day. When I grow up, I will be going to be a pirate. I hear they eat regular. Good for you, pal. We ought to form a guild. Everyone else has them, why not us? Good question. The fisherman's life is a hard one. Don't let anyone tell you different. Oh, I I, I already I know. Oh I know. Welcome, stranger! Welcome to beautiful Tien's Landing. Isn't it a glorious day? Oh, I know. People complain and grumble, but honestly, I think they're overreacting. Are they? Are they Things overreacting? Things can't be that bad, right? After all, you're here. If the town was truly doomed, would we still be getting visitors? Ha, I think not. In fact, I think your presence here is a sure sign that things are looking up. Soon, all our problems will be solved. It's just like I kept saying. Uh huh. And you are. People call me Lee Shun the talkative, though I have no idea why. I'm actually a basket maker. In fact, I dare say I am the best basket maker in all of Tien's Landing. Are you the only one? Of course, with the dam open, ships can't navigate the river. So I have no supplies to make my baskets and no customers to buy them. But am I worried? <laughs> of course not. No, oh, why would you be? I mean, my it's... children only need one meal a day. After all, they're small. And my wife can take a third job if necessary. I know things will turn around soon. Right. I mean, psh, you've only lost your supply and your demand. What could possibly be bad about that? I'm glad to see you're keeping your spirits up. Things will get better. They always do. It's like my father used to say. The greater the problem, the greater the solution. I'm sure it'll all work out. I don't think you're understanding what that saying means. But okay, then. I want to ask you some questions. You came to the right place, then. I won't give you the doom and gloom others will. Sure, we've got problems, but Tien's Landing is still the best village in the district. Ah, uh, yeah. Is it the only village in the district? Is it? Because I'm wondering. Uh... Actually, I know about all this. Okay. Bye. Enjoy your stay in wonderful Tien's Landing, where things are never as bad as they seem. Ah, uh, maybe I should just talk to him just to see what he says. I see you are still here, Honored One. I am glad to see that you are enjoying our town. Don't let the doomsayers convince you that things are not going well here. Oh, man, I sure won't. Uh... You came to the right place? Where can I find Rue the boat swan? Well, if I know Rue, he'll be in the tea house. He has a fine appreciation for wine. A true connoisseur. A drunkard, then. You mean he's a drunk? Now, now, drunk is such a harsh word. Perhaps he ingests more wine than most of us, but can you blame him? Yes. This region is known for its remarkable wines. They say a single drop is like the sweet tears of a goddess. It's a wonder we don't all drink as much as he does. Uh-huh. Right. Of course, of course. I will gladly converse on any number of topics. It's a fine way to pass the time on such a beautiful day. When you don't have any baskets to make, right? Tell me about the town's problems. The great dam's been opened and the river level has dropped. Ships can't navigate the river and nobody can fish. But I think people are overreacting. 
basically, we're suffering some minor inconveniences, which I'm sure will soon be resolved. Still, there are a few alarmists who scream and cry that our town is dying. Uh-huh. Can you imagine? They have no faith in the Emperor, nor in Minister Shang, who is in charge of Tian's Landing. I am sure the cunning Shang has a plan to save us. Uh, <laughs> Let me ask you something else. Of course, of course. I'm uh, I have a question about the town itself. I'm always happy to talk about Tian's Landing. We may have a few minor problems, but I'm sure Shang, our Imperial Minister, will find a way to solve them. Mm, where did the name Tian's Landing come from? A splendid question, and one in which I am particularly well-versed. It is a fascinating tale that dates back to the blessed first Emperor of Jade, Sagacious Tien. Go on. Before he was Emperor, before there was even an empire, Sagacious Tien was a young man, fond of wandering the countryside. One day he stopped, weary from his travels. He lay down to rest beneath the shade of a cool tree and had a marvelous dream of a shining empire. This dream drove him to create the Jade Empire as we know it. To honor the memory of his dream, he returned and built a summer palace in the spot where he had stopped to rest. In time, a town, this town, sprang up around the palace. But I don't see any palace around here. Well, that was long ago. Over the centuries, the castle fell into ruin. But make no mistake, Tien's Landing is where he had his dream. The castle proves it. But there is no castle. Yes, but there used to be, many centuries ago. All evidence of it may be gone now, but just knowing it was here once is all the proof I need. But you don't... No. Other villages try to claim the Emperor had his dream while crossing their lands, but I know the truth. Tien's Landing, my hometown, is the birthplace of the Empire. But you don't know that's the... Um... <sighs> All right, what else we got? Of course. Well, uh, that's it? Oh, goodbye, then. Enjoy your stay in wonderful Tien's Landing, where things are never as bad as they seem. So, so where was the castle? And where's this uh, baker I'm supposed to be protecting? Ghosts bring wind. Wind is no friend to a river fisherman, I can tell you that. Can you tell me that? You just did tell me that, so I guess you can. Hello, and welcome to Chuman's Woodcrafts. I'm afraid I don't have any woodwork items ready right now. My inventory's a bit understocked. Oh. Well, who are you? He just told you. Well, actually, no. Well, I'm assuming he's Chuman. Let's see if I'm right. I'm Chuman the Craft. Oh, Nobody I'm important. so good at this. Just a simple merchant of fine woodwork items. A merchant who may not be in business much longer, I'm afraid. <laughs> you obviously yes, haven't talked to talk to talkative moment, that with guy. Dam open times are hard. I can't expect them to pay me when they can't even feed their families. And if they don't pay me, I can't afford the raw materials to make my woodwork. It's a difficult situation, but I'm trying to make the best of it. Uh, I'm not going to have him collect. Just lending him silver is not going to help him get back on his feet when the problem's not solved. No, we need to solve the problem. Alright, bye. Farewell. Giving him silver isn't going to do any good. He, he'll make more wood stuff that no one can buy because no one else has any silver. Unless I plan on injecting this entire village with silver. Not uh, like. Don't be like that. What? Don't be like what? What did I do? Well, what didn't I do? What well, was I supposed to do? Something? Did I not do what I was supposed to do, or something? Hey, let's quick save. Cause it's been a while. Where am I? Oh, gosh, no, that's back. Okay, wait. What? Oh, there's more, uh, there's more, um, peers. Alright. Let's go back the other way, then. I said let's go back the other way, then. Dun, 
Da, 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 da. Right, so this is the boathouse. Mm, we'll just keep going down. Oh, I can't go that way. Alright, let's go up here. Oh. Hey, Baker Bay. How are you today? Go away! I told you I want no part of this. Tell Ai Ling to leave me alone. If you want to tell Ai Ling something, go tell her yourself. In the meantime, we have our orders. Nothing personal. It's a little personal with me. I like sticking your face in the gutter. Hold on a sec. We've got company. You're a little too interested in our business, friend. Looks like we gotta teach you to back off when Ai Ling's boys are working. Really? Ai Ling's boys? Ai, Ai Ling's boys? Really? Woohoo! Woohoo! Whoa. Whoa. Ow. Alright. Bam. And dodge the other guy. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> okay then. Heal up. You are finished. All right. I am legendary strike. Ha! Gotcha. <laughs> Can you believe that these thugs would just attack me in broad daylight like that? Well, obviously, I can they, believe it. They might have killed me if you hadn't stepped in. Thank you. I never expected such help from a stranger. Well, actually, Lan sent me to help you. You spoke to Lan? Oh, humiliating. My fiancé must have told you I can't protect myself. The woman I love doesn't have faith in me? Oh, the shame. I'll never live this down. Whoa, 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 slow down. She's just worried about you. Yes, yes, you're right, of course. I suppose I can't fault Lan for being worried about me. I've taken some serious beatings lately. I didn't mean to sound ungrateful. I'm just worried about Lan. She's very emotional. I've done my best to try and keep her from becoming involved in this. Involved in what, exactly? Those thugs are acting on Eiling's orders. She's the head of their gang. They have a small hideout in the boathouse. Eiling and I were friends when we were children, but we drifted apart as we grew up. She fell in with some rough people, as you've already seen. Ever since I got engaged, Eiling has become obsessed with me. Every day, she sends her thugs to beat me up. She says she won't stop until I go talk to her. Well, well so why don't you just go talk to her? She's obviously crazy. I've done nothing to her. We haven't even spoken in years. If I go to her hideout to talk to her, I'm afraid that I'll never come out. At least the beatings on the street are out in public. They won't kill me in front of witnesses. Well, not on purpose, anyway. Oh, for the love of... Uh, I feel like you're not telling me something. I'm being completely honest, I swear. I... I know how this looks. You must think I've done something to deserve this, but I have no idea why Ai Ling is after me. Have you told any of this to Lan? No. Lan's very emotional. I didn't want her to get upset. At first, I didn't tell her anything at all. But I couldn't hide my bruises forever. So I told her about the beatings. But even then, I didn't mention Ai Ling. It's bad enough what's happening to me, 
I was afraid if Lan became more involved, Eiling might hurt her too. Okay, fair point. Uh, maybe I could talk to Eiling for you? To me, it sounds like uh, Eiling's just jealous. Thank you so much. Eiling and her thugs are in the boathouse. Please just ask her to leave me alone. All we want is to live our lives in peace. Oh, I will, I will ask her. I am not a fan of bullies. Not a fan of bullies at all. Especially when those bullies sit back in the boathouse while they get thugs to do their work for them. It's the worst kind of bullying. That's third party bullying. It's like a bullying agency. Members only. Bully by association. I need to speak to Ai Ling about Bay. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Go on in. They'll unlock the door for you. Okay, then. Hello, book. Horse Lord Tactics. Unlike the ordered armies of the Jade Empire, the Horse Lords favor lightly armored units of horsemen who can move rapidly over the field of battle. Moving like a rushing tide, the small groups of horsemen harry all angles of the opponent's flanks. Armed with bows, almost to a man, these mounted archers can rain destruction upon unprepared foes. While the Horse Lord Tactics are surprisingly effective, their men lack the discipline of the Imperial Army. For all the damage they can inflict, their horse... Lord forces have difficulty holding strategic locations. For now, the Jade Empire exists in an uneasy peace with the Horse Lords, leaving the savages to their own lands north of the seat of Heaven's Province. Be careful in here. I don't relish the idea of fighting my way out of this place. Uh, I don't relish the idea of finding my way out of any place. So, I hear you helped out Baker Bay today. Gave my boys a bit of a lesson, didn't you? Yeah, maybe I did. You'd think after all the beatings I gave them over the years, they'd be used to losing. But they're still taking it pretty hard. Maybe the humiliation will be good for them. Why are you picking on Bay? Everyone thinks that Bay and that little seamstress make such a nice couple. But Bay already promised to marry me. Uh, who's a mawatcha now? He promised to marry you? I know what you're thinking. Why would Bay want to marry someone like me? I may not be a delicate little flower like Lon, but I don't want to run this gang forever. Someday I want a husband. Maybe a little house. Kids, too. Bay promised to give me all that. He promised to marry me, and now he's trying to weasel out of it. But a promise is a promise. I won't forget that. Even if he tries to. What? Alright, look. I'm bringing Bay here, and you two can work this out, okay? Yeah, okay. If he has the guts to come here and face me, I'll talk to him. But I'm not going to let him weasel out of his promise. What, I mean, if he promised her... Okay, I'll go get him right now, okay? Just stop sending your thugs out to beat people up. 